In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to protect your flowers and hydrangeas in particular from deer. Uh, basically in some areas like mine, deer are a pretty significant problem because they will eat back a lot of your flowers in different beds. Hydrangeas in particular are a problem and you're gonna have to put up some sort of deer fencing, but exterior deer fencing around the outside of your property is not gonna be 100% effective for most residential properties just because you're not gonna wanna do an eight foot fence, you're not gonna wanna do an opaque fence. So uh, you put up some light netting or some maybe a four foot fence or maybe someone leaves your garden or driveway gate open, all of a sudden the deer inside and you want a separate set of fencing around your hydrangeas. And any flowers, any garden, but in this case we'll say hydrangeas. So what I've arrived at is uh, a pretty lightweight system, which you can't really see so much from the street or from, you know, 20, 30 yards away, where there's a back set of stakes. Those are five foot stakes. You may want to use six. The, uh, a very lightweight netting. This is a, called a bird netting or a deer netting, but it's not a deer fence. Drape that over the plants so the plants have some room to grow and the netting has some room to expand. And then a set of stakes in the front to attach that netting to. These are usually two or three foot, depending on what you have lying around. So basically you want to keep the netting very light so the plants are not pushed down. You see as they grow up here, it's getting to be a little bit of pressure on the plant, which is not ideal for a soft hydrangea. And that's something you want to address by moving your back stake up, moving your front stake up, or putting a middle stake like this. That's not ideal as you could see it, but it's a pretty simple system and it is expandable and should you be able to get multiple years out of it. I've tried a few different products for this. This, what you see in front of you is a Dolan Deer X, which is a lightweight netting. Uh, if you buy Deer Fence, it's gonna be much heavier and it'll push the plants down. It's a lot more expensive and it's harder to cut. Also tried some cheaper products. This is a Poyi or Poyi garden netting. This is like a typical Amazon type product where uh, the Dalin, you could probably find it on Amazon, but it's more like a Home Depot, Agway, tractor supply type thing. This is like uh, probably about half the price it's from Amazon. It's actually fine. It's almost just as good, I would say. Uh, so I've been playing around with some cheaper options. This, so what we have here is this is very lightweight. You could break it with your hands. You cut it with any pair of scissors. It, it, the, some of them do have reinforcing at the end, like a triple, uh, triple weave at the end, which is helpful uh, because I will staple them in the back. I've used zip ties in the past. Back there on the stakes here, you can actually see some of my old deer fencing there. I've tried a lot of different things. I recommend using staples as opposed to zip ties. It just looks better and you don't see it as much. And it's easier to pull out of the wood without having to get little pieces of zip ties all over your property. Put it nice and high up here, again, about five feet high, depending on the size of your hydrangeas and the age of them, obviously. And then drape it over and attach it to the front stake. And you have a nice lightweight system. Sometimes the deer will sneak their head under here. So you want to get this pretty low to the ground. It doesn't have to be touching the ground, but honestly, if you do drape it to the bottom, it's going to be completely fine. Again, this is the big threat area though, is a deer will put their head under there. And if it's loose, they'll be able to get at the lower shoots. The deer don't really like touching or manipulating the fence. It just, I don't know if it creeps them out or what, but as long as there's some protection here and it's the plants are behind it, you should be good to go. This is what makes it a lot harder with roses. Roses will sneak through the fence and anything that comes through, the deer will be undeterred. Over here, you can see the flower bed ends. I do have a piece on the side with some sticks. Got a little messy there, but you definitely want to make sure your end pieces are protected either with a tall grass like I have or with netting. Moving over, you can see, goes over here to my hose area and there's a gap between the two that I can walk through but it's pretty seamless and I did protect the areas so deer won't put their head in there. They're, the deer won't really try to get in between the fencing. So like an area like this is sufficient because the fence is basically in place, was held in place by the lower stakes and it's not gonna get brushed out of the way by a storm or some light wind. 
this light netting tends to stay in place even though it is quite light. And then it just resumes, there's a, a break here to get to the water and there it resumes right here with the French set of netting. And you can see the hydrangea are really nice and healthy even though they all were decimated last year before the netting was up. So uh, yeah, in, uh, <laughs> in summary, I would say you want all your plants to be behind the net you want to make the netting as neat as possible, which I think this dual stake system, just one in the front, one in the back, with a light draping of a netting over it is the way to go. Deer fencing, in my opinion, is too heavy, unless you're gonna do a fully structured way, but that seems like it's gonna use too, many, too much work and too many stakes. And then you don't want to push the plants down. That's really gonna hurt them and, uh, and slow down any growth. So it seems like a pretty good system and the nicer you could do the stakes and the nicer you could do your staples and you want to hide the staples, then you can actually have a pretty good looking system that will allow really good growth in plants, excellent deer protection, and very minimal visibility from the street, which is nice. You don't want your, your house to look like a, a deer fortress or something like that, an anti-deer fortress. So I think that covers it. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thanks.